Kristen. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to make one of those super trendy, chunky knit blankets. And we're going to use a yarn that you can just pick up at Michael's for super inexpensive. So you're going to get the beautiful look of the, you know, wool chunky knit blankets for a lot less. In addition to the blanket being super inexpensive, I'm also going to show you how to knit the blanket using only your hands. So you don't need any knitting needles at all. Uh, you don't need any experience with knitting or crocheting or anything like that. All you need are your hands and literally anyone can do this. My very first video on this channel was showing you how to use your hands to knit a chunky knit blanket like this. And I've gotten so many comments and pictures and emails from people showing me pictures of their like seven, eight, nine year old daughters making them for their friends or for their grandparents things like that so it's super easy to do trust me when I say anybody can do it the reason why I wanted to make another one of these videos is because the yarn that I used in that video is not sold at Michael's anymore. I got a lot of comments of people saying it's not there anymore. Is there another type they can use? So um, I found this at Michael's the other day. This one was in the clearance bin. So mine was ringing up for $3.50 at my Michael's. So, and at the time of filming this, this is September of 2019. And so this is Loops and Threads Free Spirit yarn. And um, I got it in the color navy so it's a beautiful dark navy color navy is super in this fall i'm seeing pumpkins um, you know pillows all kinds of things with the navy color it really is a beautiful color you know with like a muted orange and an off-white so I thought this would be beautiful to lay over my couch or one of my chairs. So like I said, I'm going to walk you through it step by step. We're going to make a beautiful chunky knit blanket with this yarn and let's get right into it. All right, so to begin, we're just gonna make a simple slip knot with our yarn here, and then we're just gonna begin making these chains. So you're gonna stick your hands through that loop and just pull through the yarn just like so, and you're just gonna make this really as long as you want your blanket. So I'm not gonna give you a certain number of you know chains to do because it's gonna depend on how large the loops are that you make and also how big you want your blanket. But this is going to be the basically the base or the foundation that we're going to build the rest of our blanket on so you're going to want to make this as long as you want your blanket as you can see i just pulled out my tape measure and i'm just measuring to make sure i'm able to make it the length that i want once you have it the length that you want you're going to go ahead and start pulling the loops through i'm showing right there putting your fingers through and pulling through just like that. And you're gonna do that all the way down the blanket in each one of those little chains that you made. So I'll make sure this goes slowly here so you can see what I mean. And then I'm gonna speed up the footage a little bit. I also wanted to mention that for this blanket, I used two and a half skeins of yarn. So I used two of those big bundles and then about half of one. You make me smile, you're the solution You are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are You are the solution this part in the very beginning is honestly the hardest part of the whole blanket. Uh, just trying to keep this whole thing from, you know, not rotating and flipping on you, trying to keep it all flat is a little bit tricky, but once you get that part down, then you're set for the rest of the blanket. And I wanted to show here how you skip that first loop that was just in my right hand right there, and you're gonna go into the second one when you turn and go down the row again. And you're gonna do that every single time. So you're gonna skip that loop and go to the second second one when you get to the other end and just back and forth and back and forth and you're going to continue this until you have the blanket the size that you want it. So once you get near the end of your yarn, you're going to need to get another skein of yarn and attach it to the blanket that you're making. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. It could not be easier. I was just cutting off a little bit of the excess there. It was pretty long and kind of um, just not exactly 
neat and tidy so I cut off some of that but this is how you do it you just tie a simple knot as if you're just attaching the two yarns to make one long string one long piece of yarn that's all you do and then the only trick to this is that you want to hide that knot on the back of the blanket that's very important so make sure that you when you're pulling these loops through like this see how I'm gonna tuck it back and I make sure I do not pull that knot onto the front of the blanket you leave it behind right there see leave that and its little tails behind and we'll tuck it in later I'll show you at the end of the video how to finish off the blanket and tuck in those pieces so you won't even know that they're there Okay, and once you're happy with the length of your blanket, this is how you're gonna finish it off. So you're gonna grab the two loops that are on the very end and take the yarn and tuck it through both of the loops and now you have one in your left hand. Grab a new loop with your right hand, grab the yarn and tuck it through, moving it to your left hand. Grab another loop, so you want two loops in your hand and just like that. So you're gonna have one loop in the left hand, grab another in the right, and just continue that all the way down, loop in the left hand, pull up a loop in the right hand, and then slide the yarn through both of the loops. And that's going to be how we finish the blankets. We'll go all the way to the end and then I'll show you how to tie it off and then weave in the end for the finished blanket. So once you finish with your last loop, you're just gonna pull that yarn through and go ahead and cut it off. So it has a pretty long tail, I would say maybe like 18 inches or so. And then what we're gonna do is just turn our blanket over and start tucking it in, kind of weaving the ends in. Um, like I said, on the back of the blanket, just like this. And then once we get a pretty good amount tucked in, we're not, I'm not gonna go all the way with the tail that I have here, I'm gonna cut some of it off, but once I feel like it's adequate, I will grab my scissors and just cut the rest of it off and that will be sufficient for um, weaving in the tail. So it's important not to forget those spots where we join the yarn together on the back of the blanket. As you can see right there, it's a pretty big eyesore, so you don't wanna leave those on your blanket. So flip your blanket over, find those, make sure that they're nice and tight. The knot is tight. If the knot is not tight and you cut the ends off like this and it comes undone, your entire blanket will come unraveled. So definitely don't make that mistake. Make sure it's nice and tight and cut those ends off just like I'm showing you here. And that's all there is to it. And now you have a beautiful chunky knit blanket. You can toss it over your couch or keep it in a little basket by your fireplace. That's what I like to do. It's the perfect size for putting on your lap while you're watching a movie or reading a book, whatever. It's just super cozy and beautiful. 
Thank you so much for watching my video today. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and definitely down in the comments let me know if you have any questions. I respond to every single comment that I get and I would love to hear from you guys. And don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy videos like this. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.